Happy Wednesday, folks. Uh, we're back to your regularly scheduled training vlogs. So we're on our way to the gym. It's actually raining in LA today. Today is, feels like a good day. So I'm excited to get into the gym and put in some work. Oh, well, walk into the gym in the rain with my coffee. Oh, there's a really good dog here, you guys. Who's that? Great dog. So first up today, well first up, let's focus. Okay, first up today, uh, we've got some gymnastics work, some pull-up work. I've got three rounds of seven strict chest-to-bar, seven pull-ups, seven chest-to-bar. And I'm going to nip this in the bud before it even begins. I am not having the real pull-up debate today. I've had this conversation a million times on this channel, on my Instagram, in real life. Nobody is saying that kipping or butterfly pull-ups are the same or equal to regular pull-ups. They're different. We train one for strength, but we use the other for efficiency. So you're seeing both of it. Listen, I'm a CrossFitter, you guys know that. That's who I am, it's what I'm about. If you don't like the way CrossFitters do things, that was so hard. Those strict chest of bar were very taxing and uh, they hit me harder than I thought they would. But now it's time for some barbell stuff. We're doing a complex. Complex from Wadapalooza, which is coming up this weekend. It is three hang cleans, three front squats, three jerks. I'm trying to get as heavy as possible without putting that bar down. Let's do it. barbell complex was actually a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be. You guys know I hate squats, especially front squats, so I thought that uh, that was gonna go terribly, but it didn't. It actually went pretty well. I felt really strong, and I was able to hit, I was able to hit the number I wanted to hit, so it felt good. That was like a fun little complex. It'll be even more fun to watch it at Wadapalooza this weekend, though, because, man, they're gonna get heavy. And, um, now we've got a little bit more lifting. Gonna work on some jerks. Make them real nice. Well, I'm actually pretty happy about those jerks. I failed the last one at 170, but that would have been a PR. Um, and I hit 165 and it felt pretty solid. And I haven't been able to get that weight over my head in a long time, actually. Uh, just haven't been feeling that strong, you know, whatever, not having good days. So to match my PR today is definitely, it's good, it makes me feel good. I'm happy with that number. I wish I could have got 170, but not every day can be a PR day, I guess, so. <sighs> now I'm gonna do some rowing, get my heart rate up. And then it's time to go home. Whew, that rowing hurt a lot. 
up, but you guys look at this rain. It never rains like that here. I'm so happy. Anyway, my butt hurts a whole lot from that rowing, so I'm ready to go home and eat some lunch. So I didn't tell you guys this earlier, but today is actually Hank's gotcha day, which means we adopted him one year ago today. That was a very special day for us and for Hank. So I want to do something special for Hank. So we're at the pet store. We're going to get him a little something, something. And it's time for this guy's gotcha day present. We're gonna, you're gonna get to see his tricks. He doesn't have very many tricks. Sit. Good boy. Good job. Shake. Good boy. That's a good job. Those are the only tricks he knows. It took us six months to teach him shake. Here you go. Good job. Belle, you wanna show them some more tricks? Shake. Good job. Down. Roll over. Good job. High five. Good job. Belle is much better at tricks than he is. Anyway, the reason why I wanted to um, share Hank's gotcha day with you guys today is because he has an interesting story, and I don't know how many of you guys know his story, um, but I feel like it's an important one to tell, and so I figured this was a good a time as any. So one year ago, we adopted Hank from Animal Hope and Wellness Foundation. It is founded by Mark Ching, run by a lovely woman named Valerie. I have talked about this foundation before. I did an entire video about Mark when I was working at BuzzFeed. It's a wonderful place. They are wonderful people. But, he did not start at the foundation. A little over a year ago, in October, is where Hank's story as we know it starts. He was found by some neighbors who had witnessed his previous owners. Um, they had tied him to a pole so he couldn't escape and then they beat him unconscious with a bat. And then they left. They essentially left him to die. Thankfully, he had neighbors who saw this, who called the right people, um, and animal control came to pick Hank up. I am pretty sure the people who beat him were arrested, uh, but I don't know what ended up happening with the case. I hope justice was served, but that is in our past now. So because they were arrested and because there was a case against them, that meant that Hank was evidence. So he was stuck at a shelter, cage, secluded. He wasn't allowed to really have contact with um, very many people. He wasn't available for adoption. He was kind of just stuck there. And then someone heard about his story and they contacted Mark because they know that Mark handles severe abuse cases in LA. So finally, in December, they let Mark take him from the shelter and bring him to the foundation. Um, and that's when we heard about him. And so he had a very rough start. He had a really shitty start. It makes me very sad to think that somebody could do that to him or to any animal because you would never know it. You honestly would never know that this is how Hank got his start. He is so friendly and so happy and cuddly and goofy. You just would never in a million years guess that somebody did this to him and, and now he is who he is. I just wanted to share this because I think rescuing is something that's very important to me. Um, and I say rescuing over um, buying, or uh, like um, seeking out a breeder or um, buying your pets from pet stores, which that is actually, um, a lot of places are getting rid of that, thankfully. I think to rescue a dog is such an amazing thing to do and I just think rescuing is so important. There's so many animals out there just waiting to give you all of their love and you can find almost any breed in a shelter if you look hard enough. You can find any personality in a shelter if you look hard enough. I just think that rescuing is so important and something that I'm very passionate about. Um, and so I wanted to share Hank's story with you because just because a dog has a shitty start or is maybe a breed with a bad reputation 
like Hank is, um, doesn't mean that they can't be a great dog. So I just wanted to take today, because it's our one year anniversary with him, I just wanted to share his story with you guys and share something that I'm passionate about with you guys outside of health and fitness. So I hope that if any of you are looking for a pet, you choose to rescue. Anyway, I'm done with my spiel. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. If you missed Sunday's video, I tried Kendall Jenner's 11 minute at home workout. So go ahead and check that out. And if you wanna catch up on all things nutrition, get those New Year's resolutions in check, you can use this playlist.